astronomical quest is North America's most famed astrologer, Mr. Peter Casal. You are uh, living a good life with the honesty and dedication and devotion towards God. Your forefathers are very happy. Loka, Samasta, and welcome back to Astro Guide. Hope that you're enjoying the show. Now we're going to be giving you your astro forecast, which is in general, as everybody falls into the 12 zodiac signs. And also, Mr. Koshal is going to be talking about the solar and moon eclipse that's coming up. Thank you. Thank you, Shruti. First of all, let us join together to congratulate those who are celebrating their birthday during this week. And secondly, those to those couples who are celebrating their marriage anniversary during this week. May God shower good luck upon them throughout this year. Now before as to forecast, I must uh, make it clear because it's very near. There will be a solar eclipse on 1st of June. The timings I have not noted. I'm sorry for that, but we, we will give it on internet. Or you can get it from NASA also. You, you can find it out. And then with, on 15th of June is a moon eclipse. So I always say if solar eclipse is followed by moon eclipse, it's always good. And if moon eclipse is followed by solar eclipse, then it's a disaster. This year started with the same because on 21st of December there was a moon eclipse. And on 4th of January came the solar eclipse. And that solar eclipse affected my left eye because in my horoscope it was attacking my, my left eye. And uh, I know that what happened to me, in spite of I didn't see it. So now, so this only two weeks time the Mother Nature is giving us, then on 1st of July is again solar eclipse. This year is full of solar eclipse, so that's why the whole world is in turmoil. A few days ago, I mean in the middle of uh, April, Shruti said, how's this year? I, was, I didn't want to utter anything at that time, and, uh, but I didn't say anything. I say it's okay for me this year because last year I was sick. And so this on 1st of July is a solar eclipse again. So moon eclipse is sandwiched between two solar eclipses. So that little breathing and it will be a... I wish my saying should go wrong. I wish my prediction should go wrong because there should be peace. I'm for I'm always praying for that. But this this these happenings do not indicate that. There will be more fire, tufan, rain, many types of miseries will take place. Like in January I said that unexpected events at an unexpected time, at an unexpected place will take place during this year. So after that this uh, this happened in Egypt. So similarly it followed, followed, followed. It's all killing, 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 killing. Everything is... Tyrants are all, always killing the innocent people. After that, again solar eclipse is coming on 25th of November. So 25th of November again solar eclipse is coming. Solar eclipse after solar eclipse. And that's more hor horrific. But on 10th of December is coming moon eclipse. So year will end with the moon eclipse. Ultimately, we will take a breathing after that. So this, these are the things which is there and we will try to give you the timings of this through internet or I may be in some other episodes, I may be giving the times of the rest of the things. So here's your astro forecast, which is always in general, Aries Janika Meshrash. Aries people will be doing excellent this week and they have got a lot of success all around but a lot of confusions also. So these are the things for the Aries people. Keep calm and move on. Taras Shri Brekrashi. Chances of theft is very high so please be careful. If you are careful then that's what the astrology is a guide. If we make you aware it's going to be freezing rain, why to take a journey for a long distance? 
So it's better to stay at home. Similarly, be careful with the money matters, credit card uh, statements, etc. Gemini and Mithrashi. Gemini people will be getting cooperation from many people, from all their brothers, sisters, uncle, extended relatives, all will be there for you if you need them. And that's why you will be making good money also. Cancer Jani Karkrashi. Expansion of business, getting a new job, getting a promotion, all all is in the, in the stars for you, provided you look for it. If you don't want to do anything, then nobody will disturb you in sleep. Leo Jani Singh Rashi. Some blessings given by elderly people in the past will come for your rescue during this week. Because God is giving blessings through our elders always. So you are getting blessings fulfilled during this week. Virgo in Kanyarashi. Virgo people are warned for the impulsiveness, anger, and health. So do not drink and drive. Drive carefully. And slip and fall injury is also possible. So be careful about the health. Do not worry about the wealth. That will that flow will keep on going. Okay, so you got the money. Just make sure you're there to enjoy it, right? <laughs> okay, well, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have the rest of the signs, starting with Libras. everybody welcome back to astro guide we were reading your astro forecast and we have done aries all the way to virgo and we are picking up from libras all the way to pisces <laughs> libra and tula rashi libra people i'm advising you whether you are a boy or a girl decide about your marriage if you are have got an engagement or you people have planned Girls are having a boyfriend, committed boyfriend, not a flirt boyfriend. And if the boy has got a girl, not a flirting girl, good girl, decide it. So this is the week for matrimonial happiness for the Libras. Otherwise, if you are already married and everything, you, you will enjoy your married life. Scorpio, Janibrishchakrash. Scorpio people will have to work harder than normal to achieve success. Nothing easy is coming to you. Sagittarius, Janiki Dhan Rashi. Sagittarius people are advised to, if you have got children, grown up or small, you have to take care of your children. You have to work to, for the welfare of your children. And about educating yourself, if you are looking for a promotion, then educate yourself so that your new techniques are come. Capricorn and Makarashi. Capricorn people are advised go for a cleaning spree in your household. Business, office, cleaning. With cleaning, you will invite a positive energy. Changing the furniture from here to there. Always make changes in, in, in the household. Aquarius and Kumbrashi. Aquarius people, chances of a short or longer distance travel is there. If it happens, it will be very thrilling. Otherwise, all your name in the public will be there. If you are a politician, you will definitely win. Pisces, Janika Meen Rashi. Pisces people can enjoy the shower of wealth. This is very positive because, because of Moon and Jupiter in your house of wealth together along with some other planets. So it is bringing good luck to you during this week for the Pisces people. So work hard, gather more. Like harvesting, harvesting time, the farmer who cuts his more crop, he gets more grain. Similarly is for the Pisces this week. Thank you for joining us. Till next week, may God bless all of you. Samasta loka sukhino bhavantu. O God, shower this planet with peace peace, peace and prosperity. Joining me in this astronomical quest is North America's most famed astrologer, Mr. Buddha Kassel. 
you are leading a good life with the honesty and dedication and devotion towards God, your forefathers are very happy. Loka, Samastha, Sukhino, Sukhino.